All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you the progression of my lower body. Uh, top four or five exercises I like to do and the variations that I like to do. I always will start out with body weight exercises. So what I'm doing here is a basic body weight squat. Big things to look for is ripping the ground apart with your feet. That's gonna engage your glutes. A lot of people squat just nonchalantly. They don't think about or activate, uh, actively squeeze their glutes to protect their lower back. Um, I'm bracing. I'm breathing while I'm doing this. Um, what you're going to see me do here is just kind of toss a PVC pipe to kind of show you the hip hinge, uh, the bracing, the head, shoulders, and butt position, uh, the separating of my feet as I'm squatting, all kind of put together into one fluid motion. With this one, I'm a big fan of the TRX systems, in this case, the blast straps. The big thing to look for when these this modification of the pistol squat is where your foot is at. If you're too upright, as you come down into the pistol squat, your arms or, or the ropes are going to pull your arms forward, which will actually round your lower back out. So if you're flexion intolerant, this is not what you want to do. So put your foot far enough away that when you come down, you can brace, you can keep your spine neutral, you can breathe. Um, and you can sit back on, onto that butt and really be able to fire the leg that you're actually uh, working on. I'm a big fan of the skater squat if done correctly. This is a very kind of sketchy exercise. If your balance is really off, if you don't really have coordination, I wouldn't just do this free ball like this. But what I'm using is a BOSU ball to kind of help as a bumper. So uh, what I'm doing here is basically kind of getting into position, uh, practicing a neutral spine, bracing, breathing, keeping my hips level, and I'm stepping back and I'm touching my knee on that BOSU ball. Okay, this is a, again just a body weight exercise. I would not add weight to this until you are really advanced. If you can control your weight, control what's happening in your actual hips, because all that is going to reflect and what hap on what happens in your lower back. So you want to definitely protect yourself. Um, what you're going to see me here do, again, grab that PVC pipe. Again, this is just a way that I use to buffer or to show uh, different modifications of an exercise. And what I'm doing with it here is just adding extra stability. So if this is you, you're kind of more of a beginner, your balance is off, grab a chair, grab a sofa, um, grab a small child, or in this case, a PVC pipe, and just go through the same motions, practice getting your hips in position and doing it safely. Uh, the box squat is another, uh, this is where I kind of progress into a loaded type exercise. Um, here I'm using the box as again a buffer. I'm ripping the ground apart with my feet. I'm engaging my, my glutes, bracing my core, breathing. And in this case I have an extremely light weight. Now you can go heavy if your lower back can handle it. If it cannot, go light. If it cannot handle any kind of weight, just do your body weight. Um, this is just, again, showing you the front position of the squat, emphasis on ripping the ground apart uh, with your feet. That engages your glutes. I'm bracing, I'm hip hinging, uh, and most importantly, breathing the entire time. Um, what you're going to see here is just more of a, just a modified version of it. It's the prisoner style. Um, if weight is just too much, sometimes carrying that front load uh, on a very sensitive back will kind of keep you inflamed and keep you irritated. And that's not what we want at all. So take the weight, the weight away. Just put your hands above your head and just work on that hip hinge. So the rear foot elevated lunge is an excellent exercise if you do it right. This version here, I'm a little bit more upright. Uh, my chest is up. My core is braced. But what happens is if your foot is too high, then you get a lot of extension in your lower back. So if you have some facet joint issues, if you have a lot of, if you're just extension intolerant in general, that's not going to be good for you. Okay. So what I'm doing in this next version of it is I'm taking more of a forward lean. So I'm not rounding my lower back. My back is still neutral. I'm still braced. I'm just allowing my back to stay a lot more flat. I'm not trying to compensate and stay upright. I'm just keeping my back flat, neutral, and everything braced and breathing well.